Okay, well today we're gonna work. Uh, I got a request, so I could show you. I could show you how to how to set up the mugs and stuff like that. So we're gonna, like I always tell you, I use Corel Draw. I use it in Corel Draw 2020. I don't need to upgrade to the 2021. I did text drive it for 14 days. It's the same thing. So first thing first, I like to. Uh, I got a template. It's good that you make template because when you make a template, it's easier for you to work. Because like that, you don't gotta mess up your your original artwork. So I got a template here that we're gonna use. Okay, this is the template we're gonna use today. Okay, and we're gonna create. A mug, okay, mug 11, you see this template, okay, and uh, we're going to bring a photo, got everything organized, this is the photo that they sent me, and this is the photo I fixed, okay, there's a big difference on the photos, I mean, this is yellowish, and then I fixed it, okay, so we're going to bring that, I did, I did manage to work on in uh, Photoshop okay the first thing you want to do you want to you want to duplicate it double you grab it and double click right click and you double it this one we're going to put it inside power click inside and then we're going to go inside right here you do edit okay we don't need this frame and we don't need this frame so we're going to put it you see when you when you will double click inside the power click you could see what's outside this is inside the the frame so I want to put this in this corner to start working remember the yellow the blue line here that's your frame for your mug so you want to stick there okay so we want we want to bring this black to the front Perfect. We don't want to cover her. So we wanna we wanna reduce this. And we wanna put it here like that. Okay. We're gonna bring this level. Okay. You can make some adjustment if you want, but I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, that's the way it looks. Let me get that black. I want hundred percent black. Perfect. Okay, this one we gonna we, we're gonna do like uh, we're gonna give it a fifty percent clear. You see it? Maybe sixty. There we go. So sixty percent, and then we're gonna put it power click inside too, right? Let's go inside. You hit click here. So this is your frame. So you wanna bring it like that. Remember, this is the hand underneath the handle. You don't, if you don't want it, this is from here to here is the mug. This is, this is underneath the handles, okay? So that's the way you want it, but you don't want this to cover the face. So you want to take your blocks and you want to like bring it to that, that point. Okay, you see it? See the background on it and see this one? I like it the way this one looks. So let's go back inside and let's let's delete this one and let's duplicate this one. Okay, but we're gonna flip it. You're gonna flip it here. Okay, I don't like this cut, but I, I think I know what I'm gonna do there. Okay, so for now I'm gonna take I'm gonna delete this. Okay. Remember, this is the middle of the mug. So this is the left-hand side, and this is the right-hand side. So perfect. You see it? If you want, let's give it a 50%. We are, let's give it 50%. Okay. 50%. Same thing here. 
50% enter. Nope, that's nope, 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 nope. 50. Perfect. Finish. You see the difference? Now, this is the middle of the mug. Okay. So, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take either this one and we're going to put it here. So, we could cover the perfect. See it? So we could cover the, the cut of the photo. Perfect. I love it. Now we're going to take this away. We don't need that. Okay. So when you, when you right click, left click, um, yeah, right click, you do a full screen. This is what you're going to print. This is what you, this is what you're going to print. This right here. Okay. So when you're ready. I mean, this is plain and simple how to put a photo inside or design for a mug. So you want to you wanna hit print, see, and you're going to pick up the, the Sawgrass Print Manager. Okay, let's do a preview. You see it? This is what you're going to print in the paper. Okay, so you want to you wanna make sure everything is okay. Let's cancel that. And... Uh, and you hit print and you're ready to go. That was easy. That was not that that bad. Okay. I, so, so from there that was so easy task. Okay. Uh, like I said, Corel Draw for me is the best program out there. I've been using it since 1993 when Corel 2 came out. And, uh, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this is Besides everything else, I mean, you could use Photoshop for photos. I did try Illustrator years ago, but I didn't like it because, I mean, uh, because it was too complicated, you know. So I did master uh, Corel Draw for the, since 1993. I, I think, I, I mean, 18 version later, I still use it. And every year I buy the new version. 2021 is not there's no different there's nothing new in it I don't I did test drive it I mean I don't I don't see why you want to switch to 2021 and spend I mean now they, they got this uh, subscription that you do online for two hundred and forty nine dollars a year but I already bought the, the the full version on CD that had done for the past 20 something years. So uh, I'm gonna stick to the to the 2020 version, and uh, from there, then I'll see what 2022 brings. Because I mean, remember they 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 in the business to sell you software every year, but you cannot be spending 249 dollars every year on software. I remember back in the days when you used to. I mean, I remember the first version of Corel Draw. I I, I think I spent like 600 dollars. You know. Uh, and that's a lot of money. I mean, they they're not gonna they're not gonna give you a version that's gonna last you twenty years. They're gonna change. I, have, I mean, the the improvement is big. I mean, if you, if you see Corel Draw two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is and t even ten. I mean, it's a big difference. You could do a lot of a lot of stuff now. Okay. So I mean, I hope you like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, down here, right, right here, down here. Subscribe to your channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you. Love it.